Stacy Watkins knows her way around the plasma cutter. She knows a thing or two about mixing up a batch of resin. And she knows how to create something from nothing. But that's what artists do. And Stacy Watkins is an artist with vision, that certain way of seeing things that others don't, even in a scrap metal junkyard. Oh, sure, it's playground. Love this place. <laughs> we come here for entertainment. This is awesome. Certain things that have become interesting to me, uh, old, rusty, really, really rusty that people have stepped on under the ground, um, I'll pick up. and. Uh, that usually has a lot of character. Metal siding, ceiling tiles, and enough twisted pieces of unrecognizable artifacts to fill a pickup, and Stacy is stocked up on art supplies. But what looks like junk now is a heavenly sight to Stacy. Twisted up inside this mass of metal is something Stacy sees as angelic. This is how it all begins. You know, just a old piece of metal, and especially with one with this much character in it that starts speaking to you. And, uh, and it, you don't have to really even think about it, you just see it. I've had a lot of commissions for angels, so I've been doing a lot of angels. Um, before, I, I like to do a lot of abstract art where you, your art is helping you start off with an object and it the art leads you or, and God leads you and then you start molding the art, you know, it becomes something. Mix a little spiritual guidance with some clear resin and found objects and you get a Stacy Watkins original. Like this was a piece of old, this is a house siding right here. And um, that was the side of somebody's house? That was the side of somebody's house, uh huh. You've always been an artist. In the heart, yes. Yeah, always. In the heart. In the heart, of course, yeah. Um, growing up, I you know, would always play around with drawing and doing all kinds of creative things, but I had a very conventional, um, my father, you know, you got to get a job and to support yourself. And I've been very blessed be able to um, find myself being able to do what I want to do for a living. They are abstract yet recognizable. Each piece a collage of images designed to inspire, all from the mind of a self-taught artist. Since I don't have a trained eye, I'm not scared to try anything. Do you see the world differently than the rest of us? Do I dance to the beat of my own drum? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I think so. I hope so. But viewing Stacy's art in full light is only part of the story. Turn out the lights, and her vision takes on a whole new look. When I turn the lights out, it's a whole new ball game. It's really awesome. It glows in the dark and they're really fun because all of the different, I use what you call uh, phosphorescent pigments. What happens is it absorbs natural sunlight during the day and then at night it emits its, its energy, its light. From her gallery on the Granbury, Texas Square to homes across North Texas, Stacy Watkins' art is created to interest and inspire, not only the viewer, but the artist herself. It's not only taking my viewer on a spiritual path, it takes me on a spiritual path, which is very gratifying. I need to create, my mind needs to create. You need, there are, you know, as an artist, you need to be creating and, and in that you find success and you know it's gratifying and I it's how I get my confidence and I, I couldn't live without doing art. This is definitely what I've been called to do.